You can afford anything, but not everything. Every choice that you make is a trade-off against something else. Paula Pant started her career as a local newspaper reporter in Boulder, Colorado. I made $21,000 per year. That was my full-time annual salary. In three years, she saved $25,000. I had side hustles because I wasn't making very much. I lived on the money that I made at my day job. And then every penny that I earned from freelance writing on the side, I saved. Then she decided to quit her job to travel the world, something her friends and mentors advised against. Declining industry, beginning of the Great Recession, everyone told me I was crazy, they said I was committing career suicide, that I would never get a job again. And even more disapproval from her family and community. When I was growing up, they didn't ask, what are you gonna do when you grow up? They said, are you going to be a doctor or an engineer? We had to come here because there were no economic opportunities in Nepal. And eventually there was a war in Nepal. We had to come here because it was the only way to create a better life. And so my parents really didn't like the fact that I was taking excess risk that was unnecessary. But she set off. She went to countries where the exchange rate worked in her favor, and when she came home, she was a freelance writer, living as cheaply as she could. My then boyfriend and I shared a room in a three-bedroom apartment, and so my personal share of the rent was $200 per month. She lived gig to gig, and as her reputation grew as a personal finance writer, more doors opened. Once I had the security of knowing that I had an income of between five to $6,000 per month, consistently, I transitioned from being a freelance writer to running a content management agency. And so then I started hiring writers, she built the Afford Anything brand and podcast, growing her annual salary to $120,000. Her company now brings in more than half a million dollars each year, and she spends her days teaching people how they can make better decisions with their money and become financially independent. The idea behind Afford Anything is that you can afford anything, but not everything. Every choice that you make is a trade-off between something else. Can you really afford anything? What if I want a yacht? <laughs> So the notion of afford anything is that within reason, you can afford pretty much anything. Obviously, if you want a rocket ship, you probably can't afford that. Like, of course, there are reasonable limits. When I went to go travel, people said, I would love to take a year off and go travel, but I can't afford to do that. But the thing is, the friends in my life who were saying that were the same friends who would spend $14 on a drink at a bar, drove cars that were less than 10 years old, had really nice homes. And that disempowering language of I can't afford it, it's a mental shift that I want people to really question. Because if you want to do something, there are ways to make it happen. Pant says that's focusing on what it is you really want, figuring out what trade-offs you're willing to make, calculating what you need to fulfill your spending priorities, and either increasing your income with a new job or side hustle, decreasing your spending, or doing both. She writes, podcasts, makes videos, built a course, and is helping people navigate everything from investing in the stock market and understanding index funds to deciding when to disclose that you have debt to someone you're dating. The mission of Afford Anything is to really help people become better thinkers, better decision makers. There are all of these things, maybe they are priorities in your life, but you think that you don't have the money for it because this language of I can't afford it can blind us to all of the opportunities that we have to either reduce our expenses or dedicate more of our time to increasing our income. And showing her community that you can be successful without following a traditional path was an added bonus. It took a very, very long time for my parents to take a deep breath and recognize the path that I'd chosen for myself as a viable path. That came after I proved it out, like the proof is in the pudding. There's no convincing them, there's no use of words to try to change their mind. I just had to do it despite the disapproval and keep doing it until eventually, finally, it worked out. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.